So here also you can see the frames in the same website. Uh, there are normal frames are there, internal frames are there. Both type of frames are there. So let's go back. You can see frames. Frames, frames. See, frames, nested frames, and iframe. There are two types of frames we have. One is uh, normal frames. So normal frames. You can see, let me show you. Broken images and frames, right? Yeah, frames. So frames are two types, normal frames and internal frames. So normal frames are so represented in HTML by frame tag. So how can you switch to normal frames? Driver dot, switch to method dot, frame of frame locator. So how can you switch based on the position of the frame driver dot? switch to method dot frame of int index. So internal frames, these are represented in HTML by iframe tag. So first internal frames, you have to identify that internal frame. So how to identify any element, internal frame also one web element. So web element, so iframe name equal to driver dot find element by dot locator locator value. Then you switch to the internal frame. Driver dot switch to method dot frame of web element frame name. So there are three ways you can switch to the frames. One is a string locator. Second one is a index based. Third one is a web element. And if you want to switch back, for example, in the same page, your frame is there, you want to go to original position. Then so we can use this one, driver dot, switch to method dot, uh, default content. Are you moved from one page to other page? Then you will use a driver dot, navigate method dot. Back. In the same page means you can use this one, driver dot, switch to method dot, default content. Okay, so default content method you have to use. So how do you know how many frames or iframes are in web page? So list web element uh, frames equal to driver dot find elements by dot tag name frame or iframe tag. So then you can uh, so just give this collection dot size, you will get a number of frames. So this is the one no frame element found by name or ID or class name. That's the frame. Okay. And so if no frame exists with this uh, tag, then you will get a no such frame exception. With this ID or name, you are not able to find, then you can use. So no such frame exception you can use. No such frame exception you can use. And uh, so these are, I already written a methods here. You don't need to, you can use this methods. See, switch to frame. The method name is same. And um, I'm, I'm using different, different int frame. So again, same code I have used here, but uh, some proper way. So try catch blocks we have used. Uh, one try block, multi catch blocks we have used. So driver dot switch to method dot frame of frame catch block no such frame exception e catch block exception e and uh, so e dot get stack trace so e dot get stack trace so the exception reference dot uh, so stack trace method you are calling and uh, then we have a, so you can switch to a frame using string locator. 
So public void switch to frame, string frame. So whatever dot switch to method dot frame of uh, this frame, you can view whatever the frame locator. And then no such frame exception. So you can call this methods. Basically, this is the get stack trace, you know, print stack trace is there. Get the stack trace, some this method is or something like that. So that's how one way. Otherwise, so switch to frame based on the web element. Here, switch to frame based on the string. Here, switch to frame based on the integer. So I already told you three types of ways to switch to the frame. But here we are writing a reusable methods. That reusable methods you can reuse wherever you want. And uh, or you want to switch nested frames, like you know, parent frame inside you have a child frame. Then this is the way how to switch to different uh, frames. So driver dot switch to method dot frame of parent frame dot switch to method dot frame of child frame again. You are switching two times. So then no such frame exception, an exception you can use. So that's all the default frame is. I already told driver dot switch to method dot default content. It will go to previous uh, so frame where before frame where you are in the same page. So there you want to go, you have to call uh, default content uh, method to go back. So that's the all the frames. And uh, so how do you handle the frames? And we can see the same here. So you first understand the scenario, how you are coming. So you are coming from this page. You are clicking on the frames link. Then you need to click on the nested frames link. And these are the frames. So this is the top frame, below bottom frame. So top frame one, bottom frame one. Let me show you in the XML, HTML code. Can you see here? Frame. So this is the one frame. Frame. And this is the bottom frame. Two frames are there. This is the one frame and this is the another frame. Top one is a top frame, bottom is a bottom frame, but top frame again subcategorized into, see, frame set, three more frames. You have uh, three more frames again. So left frame, middle frame, and right frame. So top frame again categorized into subframes. So that is the this uh, frame set, how to understand that. Now it's a nested frame, right? So here, the this top frame inside, you have a nested frames. So you come to this middle frame and get this text, then go back. So that how to go back, you need to think. And how to switch to that middle frame, we need to think. Okay, so this scenario, you can, so we can write this. Let me explain this, we already have. I'll just take this quickly and I'll explain the code. So this is the frame, frame code. Here we have uh, frame code. Quickly we'll finish and you can practice all this. See that before all, after all, a test method. Okay. So now I'm using all the switch to frame method, parent frame and child frame. So nested frames, that method I just put. So, and the switch to default frame also I have used. So let's see how to write C. First, uh, we are opening the browser. Then clicking on the frames. You're, you'll come to the frames. Uh, piece, then you are going to get the frames validation. See, I'm doing a validation, getting the frames header text. So this one, this one, 
I'm getting that and I'm asserting that. Then I'm clicking on the nested frames. So clicking on nested frames, I'm doing here in the test method inside. Click on nested frames. Okay, this is the nested frames. Click on nested frames. So then wait for the nested frames URL. So when you click on this, see this is the URL. I'm waiting for this URL. So wait dot until expected conditions dot URL contains nested frames. Fetch total number of frames. Now you fetch total number of frames in this space. So list web element frame list equal to driver dot find elements by dot tag name frame by dot tag name frame. System dot out dot print element number of frames are frame list dot size method. Frame list dot size method. So switch to frame. So you see this method I'm calling switch to frame, frame top and frame middle. So this is the parent, parent inside child is this one. Then I'm getting the text of that uh, middle one. So driver dot find element by dot CSS selector dot get text. Then assertions, you are doing assertion. Then switch back to normal position. So switch to default frame. So this method I am calling. So just methods I am calling. Okay. So this is the non-static and non-static methods you can call directly in another non-static method in the same class. Then, so if you are not going back and I'm putting driver dot navigate dot back, red dot slip. So that's it. If driver is not null, so just quit that. So that's the simple. Uh, so you can practice this. So let's run this. So it's done. Okay, it's done. The test case is done. It's very, very fast. Okay, so if you want to run step by step, run in debug mode. Then, so I already explained in Java how to run in debug mode. So nothing, just you know how to run in debug mode. Right click, debug gas. First you have to put a toggle breakpoints from where onwards you want to execute. So then debug gas is that J test. So then your code will be run step by step. So you can practice that also. Okay. So that's all uh, frames are done. Internal frames we'll see in the next, next class. Any questions? before uh...